a paradise lost. Now let me take you back with me many, 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 many thousands of years ago. And now we arrive at the center of human civilization where the bulk of humanity is gathered together in one major particular situated settlement, as you would call it, a city, state, town, country, continent, or what have you. So, at this particular time, everyone had a religious perspective viewpoint which was in agreement with one another. To make a long story short, everyone interpreted God in a similar or same fashion and their, their worships, praises, and devotions to that one true God were very much alike. So people were not against one another and there was not any religious strife amongst the general population at that time. So let us course through further ahead in time when other religions started to pop up and when those religions did a variety that indicated that religious perspective viewpoints were different amongst the population which was growing and growing and growing. So we have religions, different religions in which people interpret God in different ways and their worship practices may differ as well regarding that. So many were not in agreement with one another because of that. And to some people who would look on it in a way as to try to find out which one made the most sense regarding religions would certainly find confusion in all of that. So, and at that time, as the years were continually moving ahead, so course ahead a bit, then wars and conflicts and skirmishes start happening because of the religious differences between people. So they were pretty much like, wait a minute, you don't believe in what I believe in and I know I'm right. That means I don't like you and I don't want you around. I don't want you living near me. I don't want you coming by me. And then others were like, wait a minute, I think that I'm right. I feel that I'm right. So I'm going to make you believe in what I believe in. So you have no choice in the matter. And since I got a whole army backing me up, I'm going to not only force you to believe, but I'm going to force your entire settlement to believe what I say they should believe in, which is my one true God in which I interpreted my particular way. So wars where just say initially little skirmishes popped up and the skirmishes turned into conflicts. Then eventually wars happened on a major on a major scale. Like we had holy wars, you know, fought between Muslims and Christians, where many were laid waste because of that. And then during all those conflicts and religious indifferences or religious differences, can any one of them actually say that God came down 
and said, I want you to fight in my name and I want you to kill as many of each other as y'all possibly can. And then the winner would be proven right. Because that's that was their viewpoint of the matter. Hey, if I win this war or if I win this battle, then I am right and you are wrong. So think about it. And just say the, the more passive ones might have a a non-violent approach to it all and the or the passive ones might say, wait a minute, there's a I think there's a more civilized way to settle this instead of resorting to violence. And then the ones that would choose to resort to violence would believe that might makes right. So hey, the strongest will be the one that decides which religion is right and true. And so that would continue on through generations and eras without a clear-cut resolution. But the wiser ones through it all would, would have realized at a certain point that a paradise in fact had been lost. Thanks for tuning in.